सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्तबिंद श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदन मनोहर वाछा कल्पतरुवश कृपा सिंधु भवच पति पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुकोति वाचाल पंगुंग हेतगिरी यत्तमहंग वंदे परमानंदमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव सच स्नभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीयपत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्तिक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोद्वर धेय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम भीतातिहम पुनुतपालीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणारविंद यदपल्लवन खचंदमनी छटाय विस्फुजीत गुष्वदर्श पूर्णागरसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामी कदा कृपा करोषि श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत गधाधर शिवसदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत गधाधर शिवसदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे अजानुलंबित भुज कनुका बुदा तो संकर्तन कपितर कमलायताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा भतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवित दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनी भावान्ण सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीयटाकलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भाग गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भाग हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे न यत्र वैकुंठ कथा सुधापगा न साधव भगवता तदाश्रया न यत्र योग्ये समखा महोत्सवा सुरेशलोको ओपी न वै सेव्यता गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत बहुपाल 
Paramahamsa Jagadguru said that Agasur, Bagasur, they also wanted to prove that they are in the party of Krishna. Gauriya Goshti Bhati, Sri Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagad Bhopad, Paramahamsa Jagadguru said that in the beginning, everybody thought Agasur, Bakasur, they are actually a friend of Krishna. They couldn't realize they're coming for playing. After that, gradually by their activities, it was proved that they are actually demon. Gradually, in course of their activities, it was proved that they are not friend of Krishna. They are actually demon. <coughs> this way, Pope was speaking, those who are going to take shelter of Gorimat in the Abhidha Haran Natta Mandir. You know the Abhidha Haran Natta Mandir of Chaitanya Mahat. Abhidha Haran Natta Mandir, this name was given by Prabhupada. I mean that Natta Mandir, Nam Hat. That Natta Mandir at the same time Nam Hat, where Prabhupada used to speak Harikatha. In that Natta Mandir, if some demon coming and staying there for staying there as a Gauriya devotee, in the guise of Gauriya devotee, but very shortly after hearing, hearing this kind of absolute truth, they become very restless. They cannot stay there for a long time. They can take shelter there in Chaitanya Mahat, source of all Chaitanya. Prabhupada told Chaitanya Mahat is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. There is somebody in the guise of demon, in the guise of devotees, can take shelter there, can hear Harikatha, but they cannot be here. Very shortly they can feel restless and they can kick out and go out. There is a condition. Point is that, in the beginning we think we are doing bhajan, we are doing anigatha, everything. But in course of our bhajan, gradually we can discover, well, pure devotees they can discover, they are going to find fault, they are going to make problem, destroy the preaching procedure. This is the system at present. One day, actually, Prabhupada was invited by the Sahajiyas. One day, Prabhupada was invited by the Sahajiyas in Navadip. Prabhupada was bound to go to speak some Harikatha. And he started speaking Harikatha. In the meantime, Prabhupada was speaking about the glorification of his Gurudev, own Gurudev. How exalted devotee he is. So niskinchan, so nice. All the Bhairagya of Raghunath Das Goswami was totally found in the life of Gaurakishwar Babaji Maharaj. He started glorifying Gurudev. In the meantime, when he opened the eyes, he find his Gurudev is sitting here in the audience with Chadar, very humbly, to hear Harikatha. Prabhupada shocked. When Prabhupada started glorifying Gurudev, immediately Gaurakishwar Babaji Maharaj, when Prabhupada opened eyes, Gaurakishwar left that place. Prabhupada wanted to say, those who are really Niskinchan, those who are really Niskinchan Sadhu, pure Sadhu, be sure that they never expect any name, fame, position, nothing. Only their life is dedicated for that absolute truth. No biasness, nothing. They cannot make any compromise for that. Many people think that they are enemy. They are against. It's unlucky. Really, Prabhupada speaking, those who are Niskinchan, Sadhu, they never ex expect any name, fame, position, nothing. Only their life is dedicated for that absolute truth. They are speaking not with a mood of some uh, enim enmity. They are not speaking this way. They are speaking Harikatha. Whole life Prabhupada wanted to speak. Prabhupada told even before living body that I was bound to speak about this absolute truth. 
and I wanted to engage them in actual Hari Bhajan. It was not my and it was not my enmity inside heart. I wanted to engage them in Harikatha without any duplicity. Papa speaking, I wanted to engage them in absolute Hari Bhajan, leaving or any kind of duplicity. That's why I was bound to give them you know, pain by speaking this kind of Harikatha. But unnecessarily they thought I am their enemy. They left me this way, Prabhupada lamenting, what to do? This way, in the life of a pure devotee, you can find there is no reconciliation. Never. Gauranga Mahaprabhu also never wanted to do this, but unluckily many people, they are going to misunderstand him. I was discussing that Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to keep Uddhavji in this material world, Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to put Uddhavji as an Acharya, effective Acharya. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, many places I couldn't go. Baddhika, some here, there, I couldn't find my time. So you will have to go to this place and you will, as a Acharya, perfect Acharya, you will have to travel all around this world to preach about that absolute truth. But Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking so many things, I told. First of all, Bhagavan Sri Krishna told about how to perform his duty, karma. After that, about Gyan, gyan about some Gyan Mar. So, Uddhavji Maharaj was in great confusion. Now you are speaking this after that, you were speaking this, just like Arjun was in confusion, that you were speaking karma, karmarpan, everything, yoga, eh? jnana, so many things. So, Arjun was also in confusion, not in confusion actually. Bhagavan, by the inspiration of Bhagavan Sri Krishna, they are going to stand on this platform, so that we can hear whole Gita, everything, total, that's why. So, Uddhavji, Bhagavan Sri Krishna was bound to give answer. Arjuna asking, you can speak one thing. If you can speak one thing, then I can realize. If you are speaking so many things, then I am in confusion. Tadekang bada nishchitam jeno sreyo aham apnuat. So that I can get the highest benefit, you speak only one. And uh, this is actually Bhagavan arranging this kind of thing. If there is no question, then answer we cannot get. Like Adhoito Gosai. You go to Chaitanya Bhagavad, you can find so many times. Actually, by the invitation of Adhoito Gosai, Bhagavan came, everybody knows. By the invitation of Advaita Gosai, Bhagavan Sri Krishna came. But still, Advaita Gosai time to time wanted to test him. Chaitanya Bhagavad, Chaitanya Bhagavad, if you go, Chaitanya, you can find. If he is my Ishtadev, then he will, I like to see it, test it. This way, not one time, many times. Many times, Advaita Gosai wanted to put this kind of this kind of doubts. He is actually Shadasi. Actually, he wanted to express doubt on our behalf. He has no doubt. On our behalf, he wanted to put some doubt so that, like Parikhit Maharaj. Parikhit Maharaj, if you think Parikhit Maharaj is a bonded soul, impossible. Because inside his womb, he was successful to see Bhagavan. How we can expect that he is a bonded soul? And bonded soul can develop this kind of doubt and suspicion. What Parikhit Maharaj putting regarding Rasa Leela, this, that. Parikhit Maharaj, about Parikhit Maharaj, three or four places in Bhagavatam. It is in Esho Mahabhagavata. When a horoscope made by Rishi, when bringing, they are also Rishi Muni explaining the horoscope in front of Yudhishthira Maharaj. 
Esho Mahabhagavata. Not one time, two, three times. So, we know the symptom of Mahabhagavata. Who is never in confusion. But still we find Parikhit Maharaj in confusion. He is putting question. That is the same answer. If Parikhit Maharaj, on behalf of all bonded soul, naturally bonded soul, they are full of doubts and suspicion. They have no faith. Bonded soul, quite naive. Prabhupada told, we all are the representative of Kala Krishna Das. We have no faith in Guru, Vaishnava, Bhagavan. 100% faith we don't. That's why the Siddhanta is that on behalf of all bonded souls, this kind of question should be there. If this kind of question should, is there, the answer we can get, then we can solve the problem. Like the case of Parikhit Maharaj. How is possible we cannot expect this kind of question? Is Parikhit Maharaj, he took birth from Uttara, a total Panchupanda, fool. But still he is expressing this kind of doubt. This kind of doubt he is expressing. Je Bhagavan is Atmaram, Atmukam, but still he is going to this kind of dirty activities, Paradaravi Marshanam. Nishit definitely he has done some mistake here. Parikhit Maharaj speaking. Yes, surely Bhagavan Sri Krishna Dhan, Paradaravi Marshanam. Surely he has done something. Why he is doing this kind of thing? After that, Sukhdev Goswami was bound to give answer. The Rajan, you are going to express doubt with Krishna, Bhagavan Sri Paratpara Kilishwar. Inside the heart of everybody, Bhagavan Sri Krishna sitting as Paramatma, everybody sitting, Bhagavan. Inside Gopikas, inside the husband of Kopikas, everywhere, where not? Everywhere Bhagavan Sikh is not sitting. So how you can expect that he has done mistake? This is not material karma. Gopinam tat patinam cha, gopinam tat patinam cha, sarvesham evadehinam jantas charaha sadhyakya, kirana neha deho bhag. To do this leela, to satisfy their you know, desire, Bhagavan is bound to do. And also, Sukhdev Goswami told, like one small boy, very small boy, innocent boy, when standing in front of mirror, in front of mirror, you watching him, small boy, cannot understand, playing with that mirror. Sukhdev Goswami is speaking, just like, Sha prati bimba vibrama with own image Bhagavan playing. There is no woman, man, nothing. This conception should not be there. Bhagavan is playing with all gopikas or sarup shakti. Anand chinmaya raso prati bhavi tavi tavir jo eva nijurupataya kalavi. This look all. So there. Yeah. Atma kam jodipati hi kritavan vai yugup sitam. That was the question. Atma kam jodipati hi kritavan vai yugup sitam. Nishchit definitely he has done some. Uh, this kind of activity is not good. Everybody can criticize. Why he, you know, done rasa lila with all gopikas, this, that. If, suppose if Parikhit Mara not going to put this kind of question, how we could. There is so many people in the world, out of 100%, 99%, even in our Vaishnava society, they have doubts. Because they have conception, material conception, man and woman. That's why this kind of question is a mass. This kind of question is a mass. If there is no such question, like Arjun putting, like Parikhit Maharaj putting this kind of question, or Adhaito Gosai having some doubts, Sanatana Gosai path. This kind of doubts must be there. Whole Bhagavatam, you see, time to time you can find this kind of incident. Somebody expressing doubt, question, 
After that, Sutadev Goswami giving answer, or Maitriya Muni giving answer, or Uddhavji, Uddhavji, this way, whole Bhagavatam question and answer you can find. And Bhagavad Bhakta and Bhagavan, total discussion you can get. Advaita Gosai, you can again go to Chaitanya Bhagavad, time to time, you can find Advaita Gosai expressing down. If he is my Ishtadev, I like to see. I like to see check up. Many times. Not one time. Advaita Gosai expressing doubt and Bhagavan. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Gondra. Suppose when Mahaprabhu express, you know, is uh, Bhagavad Sarup in Shiva Sangan, Bhagavad Sarup. When Bhagavan expresses Bhagavad Sarup in Shiva Sangan, that's why Mahap that, that time Mahaprabhu asking the younger brother of uh, Shiva's Pandit, you go, you go quickly and bring him. Nara, Nara, you bring him. Then he is going to inform. After that, Advaita Gosai started dancing, Ananda, after that, with wife, everything, his, with wife. She, he is coming and he is speaking, don't speak that I am coming. He is hiding in the house of Nandanacharya. You can go, you can speak, not coming. Let me see. But when Sri Ramapandi is entering the room, I am in the place where Mahaprabhu in in, in Asan, all salagram taking in the lab and sitting and going to express Bhagavad Saru. Then after Sirampani entering, you bring Nara, he is there hiding in the house of, uh, of Nandana Chaji Baba. This way many times. Even Mahaprabhu was bound to show him Vishwaru. Adhyadika said, saw Vishwaru. Nityananda saw Vishwaru. Vishwaru, total. This way, Advaita Gosai took for the confirmation so that we cannot express any doubt, such doubt anymore in future. That's why. So here also, we cannot expect any kind of doubt from Uddhavji Maharaj. Especially when Bhagavan already told Uddhav and me no difference. No Uddhavo Onu Opi Manu No. Uddhav is not, Uddhav is exactly what I am, Uddhav is. The. Uddhav and I myself, non different. And there is not even an at atomic gap. Atom or, you know, so much. But still, and at the same time, Uddhav was sent to Vrindavan Dham to learn, to know the exact loveful behavior affair between Krishna and Brajavasis, which is not available anywhere, all done before. From Mathura, Bhagavan Sri Krishna already sent him to learn it, not to teach, not to teach Nanda Maharaj, Yasodama, not to teach. It was one kind of pretext to give consolation. But actually, Bhagavan wanted to teach Uddhav, this is this kind of excellent, loveful behavior where Bhajavasis they have. Because so long Uddhav thinking, Uddhav thinking, the I love Bhagavan, that is the maximum. So long Uddhavji thinking, this maximum. I have loveful relationship, friendship with Krishna. But finally, Uddhav came to know that I am nothing in front of all Rajabhasis, especially those Gopikas. That's why he was bound to speak this sloka before coming back. Asa maho charana renu jusha maho sa brindavane kimapi gulma latau sudhidam ya dustajya sajjana madhya patanchi hitva bheju mukunda patavim sutavim bheka. These are also he was singing. Bande Nanda Brajastinam Padorenu Mavignasa Yasam Harikathad Gitam Punati Bhubanatran Disa. This all win. But still, when Bhagavan Sikishno going away from this material world, 
then how Uddhav Ji Maharaj expressing doubt that you are giving first of all about karma, after that gyan, after that now speaking, mamekam saranam atmanam, mameka, mame, mameka meva saranam atmanam, mameka meva saranam atmanam sarvadehinam, yahi sarvatma bhavena maya shahi akuto bhaya. If you like to become totally fearless, no tension, nothing, then you can take shelter unto my lotus feet. You leave everything. Whatever I told before, you drop everything. Only you can come and yahi sarvatma bhavena. Totally you can take shelter. Now this is Siddhanta Vichar. Because whenever we are thinking about second tattva, when there is dual conception, then we are suffering. We are feeling pain. We are tension. Bhayam dityo vinivisya tahasad ishat apetasya viparjaya asriti. When my mind is little bit diverted from, when my mind is little bit diverted from the track, I mean the, from the lotus feet of Bhagavan Gurudev, in that case I can feel some fear. Otherwise there is no question of fear. Where from question of fear? Whereas everything Bhagavan Sri Krishna, all, whatever you can see, whatever you cannot see, everything Bhagavan Sri Krishna. This is the main thing. Now, yesterday I told, Bhagavan speaking, Bhagavan thinking, if I, am, if I can convince, if I can convince Uddhav, because maybe Uddhav thinking, if I am going to ignore all the instruction in Veda, because our whole society, our bhajan, basically based on, basically even Gauriya bhajan also, basically based on. But after that, we are going to uh, cross this limit and reach. That, that's why even Veda Dharma, Loko Dharma, then we can. After, not in the beginning. In the beginning, we'll have to follow some rules and regulation, everything. But after that, even Veda Dharma, what is written, that also we can cross and reach, I can exceed and go up to that level. Where is excellent prema dharma? Gopika Gona, Ito, Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking now, Uddhav. No pare aham niravadda sangyujam. Even I am getting, even I am going to get the lifespan of Brahma, Vibhudayu Sabibo. I cannot pay you. Impossible. Yama, Abhajano, Durjano, Griho, Singhala, Sangbrish, Chatadva, Patiyatu, Sadhu. All you have broken, all the rules and everything, social system. You only wanted to serve me exclusively. That I can never pay you. You wanted to pay Loko Dharma, Vedu Dharma, all restriction written in, in uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita. All Vedo Dharma, Loko Dharma, everything you wanted to break the social bondage, wanted to family, you know, so many. Even you are not going to think that people can criticize me, criticize us. You wanted to throw everything and wanted to accept me as the only object of seva. That's why Bhagavan Sri Krishna now thinking maybe. Bhagavan Sri Krishna now thinking, maybe Uddhav uh, is in confusion because he is thinking, I am going to speak something which is abnormal. So, if I can prove what is there in Veda, Ved Vedanta, all I myself. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna already told in Gita, Vedasya Sarvai Rahameva Vedya. Vedasya sarvai rahame bhavidyo. All the ultimate outcome of Veda is I myself. So, if I am successful to convince Uddhav, maybe uh, he can feel comfortable. This way, Bhagavan Sri Krishna giving some document dhira dhira. And after that, I told Bhagavan speaking, actually, Veda came from me. 
in Gita Bhagavan speaking, Veda came from me. Veda is Aporusheya. Nobody wrote Veda. Actually, it appeared in the heart of Vyasadeva Goswami. Nobody wrote. Even Veda, all the richas, many all sloka, one one sloka. Each and every sloka, maybe some group of sloka, richa, it is called richa. It appeared inside the heart of Vishamitra Muni. Sometime this appeared in the heart of Jagomalka Muni. This way, Veda appeared, all mantra, automatically. And the other name of Veda is, the other name of Veda is, is Sruti. Vedir Arek Nam Sruti. The other name of Veda is Sruti. Because they, it was, Veda was not in written form. Only Veda Mantra appearing, Rishi Muni in course of their Asturian Pinanse appear. They remember that they, they, are going to, they are going to give to their disciple. They memorize this way. Uh, from our childhood, we, in our, from our school, small. Vedir Areknam Sruti. The other name of Veda is Sruti. Sruti means, Sruti mean, in course of hearing, you will have to remember everything. But that kind of Brahmacharya was there at that time. Power was there. Now, Kolikal, almost impossible. Then who can remember this kind of thing? So, all mantra, Jagamalka Muni, he is watching Sukla Jojurved, Krishna Jojurved, so many Rishi Muni. Even those Rishis are women, some Rishis are women, Maitri, Gargi, so many Rishis, they are Matajis, not only men, they also, but they are not like ordinary men, women, they are not like ordinary Matajis, they are beyond body limit. Those Matajis, they are beyond any body limit. That's why they watch everything, some mantras in Vedas. Our Vishwamitra Muni, our Gaiti Mantra, what I am doing, Prachodayat, they are given by Vishwamitra Muni. It's from Rigved. It's from Rigved. This way, everything coming to us through Veda, etc., etc., Shruti, Veda, the other name of Veda is Shruti. So anyway, Bhagavan speaking, Sa e sa jiva, Bhagavan giving answer. When Uddhav expressing doubt, now Bhagavan Krishna giving answer how Veda develop. Now Bhagavan going to cut the uh, doubts and suspicion of Uddhav ji Maharaj. Bhagavan speaking, Sa e sa jiva pravara prasutihi, Praneno Gosheno Guham Pravishtaha Mano Mayam Shuksham Upetta Rupam Matra Saru Varno Itis Tavishtaha Bhagavan Sikhism speaking. Bhagavan Sikhism speaking, you say Bhagavan Villain. I told you to take shelter of Paramatma, I mean me. Because that Bhagavan is there inside us, inside us, in, inside us, a six chakra, six chakra you can fight. In six chakra, Bhagavan going to stay in difference. One is finally is here, one 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 is in the beginning of the spinal cord. Six chakras are there, six chakras are there, Six chakra means muladhar. Those who are yogi, those who are yogi, those who are doing yoga, they start from here. When they start yoga, from here muladhar, they like to go up. Agni. Going to go up one by one. First of all is muladhar. It's a joint here. The spinal cord while going to end. Spinal cord actually is starting from brain coming here. So, first is actually Muladhar, after that Sadhisthan, Manipur, Anahato, after that Vishuddha Chakra, after that Agha Chakra. Vishuddha Chakra, after that Akaya. 
how Veda developed, Bhagavan speaking, that is Veda first appeared in the naval part, in the naval part, secret form. Many Rishi Munis, especially our, uh, what is called, Vyakaran who wrote, na, the special Vyakaran, uh, Panini. Huh? Panini, Panini, Panini told so many things about how sound manifesting from seed form, how going, after that, that, uh, that, uh, uh, you see, medicine they are selling, na, Huh? Now there, there are so many medicines there. Huh. They are all selling medicine. They some sadhu in Haridwar. There. This way actually they wanted to speak so many things about how our what we are speaking, what we are speaking, how it is understandable, understandable for others. How we are communicating our sound. Because when we are pronouncing anything, when we are pronouncing anything, surely not at a time. At a time pronouncing? Suppose you wanted to speak something. Suppose you want to speak something. So if you like to speak something, some what combination there? Some, some syllable. Some syllable there. Some syllable there. Na? First of all, you have to like Mayapur. So when you are speaking, Ma, you are speaking, A, Maya. Those who are reading Bhakaran, they know how they are splitting on one one pronunciation. Ma, Ya, Pu, Ra, Iva. This way they split up. So when you are going to speak Mayapur, first of all, Ma coming, but that is vanished. That, ap that appears in your tone and at the same time vanished. Follow. And the second word appear, it also vanished. Eh? Like present, present. If you watch around, I told you many times before. Present. The present spelling, P R E S E N T S, you are going to write. The present P, when you, when you speak present, then P, first of all, speak P gone in the past. R, you speak R gone. E gone. This way, when you pronounce it finally, then how it is understandable for others. How this, there's a jugglery. So there is nothing present. In our life, if you think, present what you can say. Present is so unstable. Even when you, even, even if you pronounce this present, that also you cannot say total present what is present. P gone past. Time is like a current flow. Time is like a current flow oh, going on. You cannot make competition with time. In our life, every fraction of seven going on. And the time today going away from your life, you cannot go back anymore. That's why I told that that day. Uh, so what is time? And this question was... Time is nothing but movement. So this way, they panini, <coughs> they wanted to express how sound going to become un un understandable. How make meaning. Whereas one word, one one word going past <coughs> is very <science. coughs> secret thing. So this way, actually in the naval portion, in the naval portion, First of all, Bhagavan speaking, it was inside me. Veda was originally inside me. After that, when Brahma coming from the navel portion, navel was one, a lotus flower sprout. Then Brahma discovered himself in the lotus flower. And in the stem, in, in the stem, <coughs> In the stem of this lotus flower, our 14 world accommodation. Our 14 world na, is 14 world, whole accommodation in the stem. And in the Padma, lotus, Brahma sitting. All this kind of, this Padma, Brahma discovered himself. 
Also about Golok Vrindavan, our Navadip is Golok Vrindavan. Navadip actually is Setodip. Navadip means Navadip is the appendix of Krishna Leela. So in Golok Vrindavan, inside this core of lotus feet, there is Vrindavan. And gradually, if you go out, inside the core of that lotus flower, the whole Dharma can be compared with lotus flower. So, if you go through Brahma Sangeeta, there also you can find this kind of concept. So, in the core of that lotus flower, there is actually Vrindavan. Vrindavan means where Krishna is playing with Gopika is this. And gradually, if you go a little bit outside, then you can find Mathura. If you can go more and more up, I mean outside, then you can find Daroka. This is the conception. And outside there is round Setodhiv. It's called Setodhiv. Navadhiv, Leela, Appendix. Or Golok. Or Golok Dham. This way, actually, Brahma discovered himself in the lotus flower. After that, he is thinking, where from I came? Who am I? What is my identity? He cannot understand. He is in confusion, looking all around, all darkness, all deep darkness all around. After that, he here, first of all, he is going down and up. Brahma going down and up. All the stem is searching. We find nothing. Darkness and darkness. After that, he heard aerial voice, tapo, tapo, tapo. After that, by the inspiration of Bhagavan, he could realize what is the meaning of tapo. Otherwise, Brahma is the first, first, you know, nobody there who can, who can explain this. The Bhagavan, like Chaitya Guru, you are going to misunderstand. Any scriptural advice, anything what you are hearing, Especially, I am speaking about devotion online. If Chaitya Guru is not going to support you, like Chaitanya Charitamrita, I am discussing, na? if Chaitya Guru is not going to support you, you cannot make any meaning of Sastra. Gurudev speaking anything, you can misunderstand. But the day when Chaitya Guru can support, many times this kind of thing happened. I can give example of our, one of our Guru Varga. <coughs> he is eternal person of Prabhupada, okay, but still manifesting Leela, according to tell that we are learning, na? Manifesting Leela. Srila Bhakti Vilas Tirtu Goswami Maharaj. He was a service holder in post office, post office in GPO, General Post Office in Dalhousie Square. He was the service holder in Dalhousie Square, Calcutta. And later on, we came to know he is the eternal person of Prabhupada. How exclusive way he served. But first of all, I am going to speak this example. He was in the beginnings of mixing. Saying X mission, Y mission. So right, he is speaking. After that, I cannot give proper answer. This way he is going here and there not getting proper answer. So-called Babaji is also, he, going, he gone in the, he came in Navadiva also with Sahaja Babaji, with wife, there also night time is so on dream. That was finally. So, this way, he was bound to come here to attain Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Bhimala Prasad. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Bhimala that time, he is expressing doubt because he came here and his uh, friend was Paramananda Prabhu. Paramananda Prabhu was from the same village. Man, both of them from the same village, Bhakti Vila Thitta Goswami Maharaj and pa Paramananda Prabhu, who is the Sevak of Prabhupada, previous. They are all from the same village. So, he said, I can arrange your staying here, no problem. Prasadam, all I can arrange. Then Bhakti Vilas Sittuku Se Maharaj, I mean, who was known as Kunjoda. Kunjoda also not his previous name. Kunjoda also 
we later on Prabhupada given it. So he took leave from post of his office. The for at least twenty or twenty or three weeks or two weeks. After that he is coming uh, to stay in uh, in our Mayapur. He was giving accommodation, prasadam, everything. And every day afternoon time, Prabhupada used to speak Harikatha in this Jogopit Simandir used to speak. Jogopit Simandir was first. First of all, Jogopit Mandir. Jogopit Mandir, Bhakti Mutagar wanted to see that Jogopit Mandir. Preliminary. After that, so many things happened. It was the in, it was the initiative of Bhakti Mina Thakur. Later on, so many things happened. So there, Prabhupada used to say, uh, speak Harikatha. That time, Prabhupada was Bimalapasa Saraswati is speaking in front of some handful of devotees. Who can come? Because now, because that time, pool Mayapur was almost full of jungle and Ganga all around. So, very limited devotees used to say, and some devotees also coming by that time, because he already preached in Calcutta, previously. So, gradually, uh, some devotees also coming, and Kunjoda also hearing Harikatha. After hearing Harikatha, he become upset. He become upset. He said, what kind of thing is speaking? I cannot make any head and tell. It seems he is the only sadhu. By Harikatha, he wants to prove that he is the only sadhu, there is no sadhu at all. He wants to prove Kunjata speaking, thinking this way. His way of speaking, when he is speaking, it seems he is the only sadhu. In Navadhi Vya, there is no sadhu there. He could not realize what Prabhupada wanted. He misunderstood. Uh, Prabhupada wanted to speak absolute truth. So he uh, came back to his friend, I mean, Paramananda Prabhu, and speaking, I cannot stay. No more, I like to, I feel disgusted. What happened? What he is speaking, Prabhupada, I cannot understand. No meaning I can make any, I cannot make any sense. So, better I can, no, I cannot say. Paramananda requesting, I am requesting you. You are my friend. You don't pass any hasty remark. It is my request, you are my friend. You believe me, na? from childhood you are watching me. Surely I cannot do any mistake, do any wrong. So it is my request, you just wait for some day. Just wait. After that, well, I can wait. He went on hearing. After seven days, ten days, he started realizing. When Chaitya Guru went to support, he started realizing. Oh, really? This is the absolute truth. That's why it was not understandable for me. Then, he was the topmost sevak in the life of Prabhupada, this way. Then and only then, Kunjoda took forcefully, because otherwise Prabhupada was doing bhajan here. Kunjoda is the first man, don't try to ignore him, don't speak any rubbish. Kunjoda is the first man who forced Prabhupada. No, I cannot go to Calcutta. You will have to go. Because why you are coming? Why you appear in this material world? If you are not going to distribute kipa to others, you will have to go. Forcefully, Kunjoda take Prabhupada in Calcutta. Prabhupada penniless. Totally penniless. No money, no man for nothing. Already I told, na? One Satogadi Namjago later. It was not beginning. Later on. Long after. First of all, Kunjoda could take him forcefully to Calcutta. You have to go. But where I? There is no arrangement there. Calcutta, it was British period. Very limited. You know, population also very not so dense. Then Kunjoda rented one room, one building, where first Papa started teaching. Number one, Ulta Dengi Johnson. That building is also there. Also, you can uh, see the picture in uh, Saraswati Jayasri. One compilation of different activities and Siddhanta Vichas of Prabhupada. This 
books is excellent and I am sorry to say this was compiled by Sundaranda Vidyavin. Because that time he was in line. That time, that time he was in line with Prabhupada. Later on left. That kind of writer is rare in the world. So big writer. By the mercy of Prabhupada, he wanted to collect all the diary notes. When, where, Prabhupada, when, what spoke, all. So much energy. So much energy. So much energy has given as a writer. So much talent, Prabhupada given so much kripa. Even in Jagannath Puri, total temple and to total temple. By the way, I speak this, I remember, otherwise I cannot remember again. Temple and temple related, whatever function going on, all scrutiny. Scrutiny. One, one word. He has gone through everything, so much energy given. Jagannath, but each and every man, Panda or authority is meeting. You know, this way he collected. After that, he wrote one book, Sri Khetra. Sri Khetra. This way, really, it is impossible to think how they left Prabhupada. Maybe it is one kind of Leela. By this, they wanted to set some example. That you see, I am my condition as this, don't do that. This may be, or what I can say. Otherwise, the talent of Vasudev, abnormal. I am bound to speak. Talent of Vasudev was abnormal, it's not normal. How possible? They all went against Prabhupada. So, what example I wanted to say? Kunjoda was forcefully taken. They, they compiled uh, Saraswati Jasi, where all, starting from some, some point, all dates, this date Prabhupada approached there, this date going there, this Harikata, they, all details, diary express. Impossible. Anyway, so Guru Kipa can give you everything. In the glorification of Padapuran, Bhagavad glorification. Guru Prito Praja Chati Vaikuntha Yogi Dharulava. If Gurudev is satisfied, can take you and put you in Golokvrindavan. So power. If Gurudev want to, Gurudev Sadguru is satisfied with you. They, if there, of course, there is no offense, nothing in your life. Offense is one kind of impediment. Then Gurudev can take you, Guru Prito Prajachati Vaikuntha Yogi Durlabham. No worry. Yogi means Bhakti Yogi. Surely by Yogi, you should realize the inner meaning. Vaikuntha Yogi Durlabham means Yogi for Yogi it is impossible. Really, by Yoga you can reach up to Paramatma. The common sense. Vaikuntha Yogi is Durlabham. Guru Prito, Gurudev is satisfied. Also, this kind of Siddhanta there in uh, Prem Vibhartha. If you can go through, surely you can go. It is my suggestion, if you like to become great devotee, you must go through Prem Vivarto. Prem Vivarto, Chaitanya Bhagavad, so many things. Jaiva Dharma. So this way, Prabhupada was bound to go. And he was accommodated in a room. Number one, Ulta Dengi Johnson. That building is there. Big building, total rented. And on those days, their salary was very, very low. Very, very low. Somebody getting 60 rupees salary, somebody 30 rupees, 20 rupees. Because that time, money was so valuable. In our life, we have seen some old man. In our life, smaller. He used to say that in railway, I used to draw uh, uh, 2 rupees. 2 rupees salary. 2 rupees you cannot spend. Whole month, if you go on spending money, like water, still you cannot. In our life also, my age, how much? Father used to get two paisa. First of all, he started with one paisa, to take some large and this, that. One paisa. After that, two paisa, three paisa, finally we reach up to five paisa. Maximum. Five paisa we cannot spend. So much, you can get some uh, nut, you know, these, that. 
in our life also, yes, sir. So what to speak? So cheap. So cheap. And the time I am speaking, one, one big sack of rice you can get. Buy only 20, 20 paisa, 15 paisa, or 10 paisa. Full sack, full of rice. Now you will to spend thousands of rupees. There's time going on. So I am lucky. Now it is like bridge. My life is like bridge. I had connection with the past. The old man, very old man, 90, 98. I meet with they. Speak, they used to speak their all their past experience. Used to learn, like gossiping. You know, used to hear. So Kunjoda used to draw a very small amount of money, <coughs> and used to rent, used to pay. All the expenses of Prabhupada, all the expenses. Expense means not a matter of joke. Even sadhu is there, people can come. You have to give some hospitality, na? People coming, you have to give some sweet or prasadam. So all you have to do. Kunjoda used to maintain form. Even he was not able to pay anything to his family. He was a family hold, householder. His children there, wife there. He used to take all the salary and give to Prabhupada. And Prabhupada secretly used to take some money and go, send to his house. This way. Finally, Kunjoda took, because seva increasing, preaching increasing, then Prabhupada, Kunjoda was bound to take loan, huge amount of loan. Huge amount of loan to serve Prabhupada, finally. A pool of loan. Full of loan he cannot pay in his whole life. That's why he finally went to Borsa to take risks, to take huge amount of money so that he can pay. You don't know them. So this way, this way, what I, what I mean to say, the main thing, that he misunderstood Prabhupada. <clears throat> but finally in course of hearing, eight days, seven days, eight days, nine days, ten days, suddenly so. Is really absolute truth. I mean, that his, you know, Chaitya Guru going to support. Many things, many such things happen. Bhakti Doita Madhu Goswami Maharaj, speaking almost, uh, speaking Harikatha. He is speaking, uh, this kind of philosophy very often he is speaking. Suddenly one man, particular, he is attending Harikatha, he heard this point. This Siddhanta Vijay he heard many times before. But totally, today, why he don't know, suddenly they, when this speech coming, suddenly it attack heart. A sensitivity growing. What is speak? Like one example I can speak. Another example. Chaitya Guru, very important. Uh -huh. Chaitya Guru, Chaitya Guru, Chaitya Guru, if not supporting any amount of Dikha or Siksha, whatever, all useless. I can give one example. His name was Lala Babu. His name was Lala Babu. Lala Babu, very important man in Calcutta, very rich man. His grandfather used to distribute uh, later invitation later in his first grain, first grain Utsap. His grandfather used to distribute golden foil. You know golden foil. Because gold, ductility of gold is maximum. You can hammer gold, hammer gold and put a pressure. Then you can make gold like a very foil. So in the golden foil, he wrote letter and very oh, costly. Gold, golden foil. On those days, letter was round, I mean rolled. Not like us, paper. The paper was not there. That time, any paper, a, a, any letter written in a foil or something, rolled in a stick. In a stick, the, to read the letter, you will have to unveil. Open the stick, this way. So rich. So that man dealing big business, big business, crores of rupees business on those days. So rich. One day, in a holiday, Sunday, he is sitting in his uh, own room 
and making some calculation. Previous week's expenses, this week, what is due with pub, what is due, what already I got. This way he was doing calculation. In the meantime, one of his, one of his maid, maid, maid servant, rich people, uh, maid servant, uh, so, uh, two or three maid servant, maybe maid servant, and uh, with her daughter, both of them working to get some money, poor man. Suddenly, one day, that maid servant passing one remark, Bengali, you cannot understand, I explain the meaning. Speaking, Are, Din to gelo, basnai agundia holona. A Bengali. Basna means some dry leaf of banana. On those days, there was no gas, electricity, nothing. It was not easily available. Gas was not at all there. Gas came in our life. Gas came in our boyhood. He is speaking, Are, whole life is gone. You are not going to set fire to your desire. Being, actually, inner meaning is this. Whole life gone. And you are not going to set fire to your desire. Life is already going. This is the inner meaning. But in Bengali, the meaning is, why that lady servant speaking, why you are not, she is speaking to daughter. Are, whole day gone. You are not going to set fire to that, you know, banana leaf dry because it is some procedure. Basana. You have no idea. Basana means in Assam, one devotee there is a disciple of Bhakti of Tithuve. How after burning the inner portion of banana tree, how you can make some soap-like thing. You can clean all cloth. But you, I, perhaps you don't know. You don't know. He has shown me. He is burning and after that, he, uh, collect some ashes. After that, he mix with water. You say, Maharaj, this is very nice soap. Like you can kill, clean all dirty clothes. Really, I never saw. They are from some jungle. So that lady wanted to mean this. Whole day gone. Is already you are led. You are not given a fire to that basana. Basana means basona. Bengali and Sanskrit, he is, she wants to mean basana, but he hearing, inside he is doing, suddenly here, are whole life gone, whole day, whole day gone mean, din to galo. It is the Bengali, but it, inner meaning is the whole life gone. Then after hearing this, he was doing some calculation, he immediately stopped the pain. Really so? Now I am 60 over. My life already gone. What I am doing with this money, position, building, and name, fame? He shocked. Immediately he leave all his pen, pencil, everything. Miracle. That night he left home. That night, without speaking anything, he left home. Same case with our South Indian king, Kulo Shekhar. He also left. Kulo Shekhar also left. Without speaking anything. He saw, I have seen the naked picture of the society. I have seen the naked picture of the society. No love here. All cheater. All drama. Nobody love. Yeah, actually one kind of drama to get the interest. What wife, husband, children, father, mother, some interest there. That's why. Bhagavatam is speaking. In Bhagavatam, what is speaking? Bhagavatam, same thing. Sajanakho dushu. Sajanakho, externally they are near and dear one. Sajanakho dushu. Bhagavatam, it is written. So, Lala Babu gone from house. Nobody trace out one Lala Babu. Lala Babu gone to Vindavan. Lala Babu gone to Vindavan. He was so upset hearing that my life is just 60 over. Now, any time I can go away. I have done nothing. I have done nothing for my Atma. So he's searching for Guru. So many incidents I'm going to cut short. And luckily, he was successful to take shelter of Siddha Krishnadad Babaji Maharaj, who that time used to say in Chakaleswar, near Govardhan, Chakaleswar, Manasi Ganga, Manasi Ganga. 
Manasi Ganga, they are used to live. He went there. So many incidents, I am not going to speak. After kicking, getting kick and kick and everywhere, Mahadevi, finally reach and take seeking shelter. Krishnadas Babaji Maharaj, Siddha Mahatma. He was finally testing him. He was finally testing him. After he was, he gave him mantra, diksha, everything. And that Lala Babu finally becomes Siddha. That Lala Babu is a material man, businessman. That material businessman, he also becomes Siddha. He also becomes Siddha. One famous mandir, perhaps you know Lala Babu Mandir, those who are Lala Babu near Gopeshwar. Near Gopeshwar, perhaps you have gone, no? No. no. Okay, no, no need. Here is also more practical. <laughs> Navadhi. Need not go. I am just asking. Near Gopesha temple, there is a big temple. Big temple. Radha, uh, Kokul Chandrama, like this deity. I go on many times. This way, he made temple and he left everything, body, but he was Siddha. So, what I mean to say, how one word wanted to change his world. This way, this is not any story. This is not any story. I can speak about Billamangal Thakur. I can speak about, about our Tulsidas Ji. Goswami Tulsidas, same thing happened. Billamangal Thakur's name was Silhan, Silhan Misra, very topmost Brahman. But he, he was contaminated with one cross. Daily he must go. But that day, torrential rain, lightning, Bhairabhat, boom. Nobody, no animal also, but he was bound to go. He cannot stay. Finally, he reached there, find all darkness, evening time, all darkness. And he is knocking the door, outside door, nobody opening, who can hear? So, torrential rain and Bhairabhat. Finally, he saw one rope is there. So he took the rope and jumped inside the, inside the building. I am in the garden. Doom, one sound. Finally, his name was Chintamani. He said, who fall down? So with a hurricane, with umbrellas, I still don't know. Somehow managed to take him inside room. And finally, she is thinking how he is coming inside. As he saw the rope, he thought his snack. One snack is big snack. His tail was there and the mouth was crowned. Big snack. With the tail he jumped. Somehow he was. Then Chintamoni was the guru of Silhan Mishra, first guru. You see, Chintamoni is the first guru. Chintamoni Jayati, somebody explaining Chintamoni means Krishna. Some group explained this way. This is also good. Chintamani Jayati, okay. But one point, if Chintamani Jayati, Soma Guru Girir Me, Girir Guru Me, Soma Giri, a Vaishnava Guru can never take this kind of news. Right? A Vaishnava Guru, we never heard. We never heard this kind of name. Because he took Diksha from one Mayavad Guru. First, he also confessed. Sananda Singhasana Labdha Diksha, he already confessed. I can show you the writing. Kenapi, Hoteno, Sateno, this kind of, I forget the slope totally. Gopo Bhudu Bhargi, Gopo Bhudu Bhito this kind of slope, I forget the slope. I can remember. Somehow, how I am changed. Sananda Singhasana Labdha Diksha. Mane from Mayabad, Brahmananda, from that place I took Diksha after that. So Chintamunir, some group explaining Chintamuni means Krishna. As somebody will know, his life was totally changed by only one word. What Chintamuni told when his, when his consciousness came back, when his consciousness came back, the first word Chintamuni told, this kind of attraction what you have for me, if you can develop this kind of attraction for Krishna, immediately this life you can get Krishna. That only one sentence. What kind of attraction you have for me, 
if you can develop this kind of attraction for Krishna, this life you can get Krishna. This one word was the turning point. He turned out. That was the turning point in his life. He left everything, kick out and gone. He is approaching. So many things happened in between. I am not going to speak. Finally, he was bound to Finally, he was bound to take two nail, nail mean kata, to blind eyes. Because he was, it was impossible for him to check Maya. It was impossible, for, even after that incident, when he turned out, coming out, still going to Vindhav, in the road here, there were Maya, he is always Maya. Too much Maya. Finally, he took two nails, the incident I don't like to, one businessman, why? So many incidents. So finally, he took two nail clip, clip, nail clip, and to blind own eyes. So you see, two siddhas also, same thing. Same thing happened. Same thing happened in the life of two siddhas. Two siddhas, same thing happened. One wise speaking all rubbish, then he came out of room and he got lost, and he started searching Ram. That too, Siddhas. Same thing. So, turning point can come in your life. Like the Lala Babu. Not that normally we are hearing, speaking, everything. But when the turning point can come, we are actually not serious. To be frank, if you think inside, we are not actually 100% sincere. Maybe I am not speaking about nothing, <laughs> doing something. But we are not 100% sincere. 100% sincere. Not. There is some gapping. So the day when Chaitya Guru can touch, then we can change. Now, we are discussing about how Veda Be de develop first. Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking. Veda, we know clearly. That we have no past information, but now Bhagavan is speaking. That Brahma discovered himself in the lotus flower. Okay, right? In the core. After the searching, who am I? From naval portion, Bhagavan speaking, it was in the in the form of seed. <coughs> Bhagavan speaking, originally Veda Veda was there as a seed inside my navel part. After that, when the stem come out, when Brahma discovered, after that, gradually Para, Pashanti, Madhama, Vaikhari, all different stage of expression of Veda. For Dunas. First of all, inside the mother, zygote formation. Those who have idea of medical science, they know. First of all, mother, inside mother, one baby in the form of zygote formation. It is medical term. You can, no need of translation. Zygote formation. From zygote formation, automatically some different reaction going on. I mean, division of cell division. And after that, at the fetus and the baby, First of all, then going to grow all. Cell division, cell division after that growing, after that full. Similar example I am bound to give to you. Exactly I can explain tomorrow, but this is the basic thing. How a fetus growing into a full-fledged man. This example is just fitting. So first of all, with uh, Bhagavan speaking, it was there in seed form, in my navel. After that from navel, the a sprout coming on, lotus flower, after that how it came by my mercy, how it expressed and how finally we are able to hear Veda. Before hearing stage, now we hearing condition, now we can hear. But Veda can be there in fine form. Like Bhagavan Krishna can stay in fine form, you cannot believe. But you know that Kali Kale Nam Rupe Krishna Avatar, you heard? This is very common, even child. So if Krishna can stay in fine form, Krishna is there. Kali Kale Nam Rupe. Or even Krishna can stay in fine form. In fine form, more fine form. Name is also, name by name we know. And name and Krishna equal. So how this kind of development that we can discuss tomorrow. So try to consider all these secret things. So if Chaitya Guru not going to bestow Kipa, we cannot catch anything. 
The day Chaitanya Guru can be Stokipa, we become very serious. Otherwise, we can lose all our golden opportunity, only sentiment. Only sentiment, false sentiment, biasness. But you forget one thing, you leave your home to get that absolute truth. Then how you can make compromise with false and, you know, material? Okay, anyway, I can discuss tomorrow. Vancha Kalpadaru Sikva. So, the sloka I started with, Na yatra vaikunta katha sudhapaga, na sadhavaha bhagavataha tadasraya, na yatra yogyesa makha mahatsava, suresa loko upi na vaisa sevvatam. Even one Vaishnava, if he is given the facility to go to heaven, they cannot go. Even they are given the post of Brahma, they cannot go. They like to get Sankirtan, Ananda, Harikatha. That is the final. That I can explain afternoon time. Vancha Galpata Rushta Kipa Sindhu. Patitanam Pavane Pho Vishnu Bhyo Namo. Direct realization we can develop then. Mane, some realization you can develop by hearing. That is your mental exercise. But finally realization, with realization you can know when Chattva Guru giving Kipa. Not before that. Money, it can uh, have a great impact inside your heart. Have a great impact inside. It can stay for pounds.